how to add a button hover effect in Figma. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can add a hover effect on your buttons in Figma. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So as you can see, I'm over here into Figma, I'm signed in, you can also sign in, it's free. And once you have signed in, you should be good to go, right? So I'm gonna create a new design file or a new whiteboard, you know, depends on you. You have a bunch of different options. So let's go ahead and click on design and prototype, open it up over here and create a new design. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a shape. You can find the shape button right here. here you can see the frame section. We'll add the frame right here. This is going to be the overall shape of the button, like so. You can move it around and you can also, you know, increase the height of it, you know, however you want to, but I'm going to keep it like this. You can change the color of it by changing the fill color over here. I think I'll go with a slightly cyan color or a cyan, I guess pronounced cyan. Yeah. So we'll keep it over here. I think this looks good. Now, next, what we can do is we can also change the shape of it as well. So as you can see, we have some rounded corners. We can make it round like so. I think this looks good. Yeah, that looks much, much better. And we can always, you know, in change up the style of it as well. Like we can also remove the fill by just simply clicking on this minus button right here or the remove button. It's going to remove the fill. So you can go ahead and add the fill later on. You can even increase the strokes over here. You can add like different strokes. You can add different effects over here. So over here you have the drop shadow effect. So currently we can't see the drop shadow effect because, you know, the board is, you know, darker color in the background. But yeah, you can also add like a layout grid as well if you want. And over here you have a bunch of different options like drop shadow, inner shadow. This will have like an inner shadow within the button. You have the layer blur and background blur as well. So you can go with anyone. I think we'll go with the inner shadow since we do have a darker background so you know and of course we can always and i'll also change the fill to cyan or cyan sorry it's pronounced cyan i forgot i think this looks like cyan so we'll leave it at there and if we want we can increase the stroke of it as well but i think this looks good we can go with outside inside or center whatever you want you can you are good to go i think outside looks good so we'll leave it there now let's go ahead and add the text button over here we can add the text via t or just simply clicking on this t over here or typing the t so when we type t we'll just click over here and now we'll just add button add that now the size is way too small so we'll increase the size so that we have a better you know bigger size and over here let's go ahead and increase it and change the alignment and make it you know put it in the center and here is the layout here is the positioning of course let's go ahead and increase the width this is for the button of course and i believe this is for space and here is the size as well so you can see you know let's go ahead and make it 20 and also make it bold i think this looks much better there we go and next what we can do is we can always change the font so we have these fonts over here so you can change it to whatever font you like i usually go with poppins because i don't know i like poppins and yeah so once we have this let's go ahead and you know select all of them and what you have to do is make it a auto layout so that we automatically lay out our buttons so over here once you select all the both the frame and the text come over here to the right hand side you will find this button right here called auto layout all right right here in the layout section you can even press the shift plus a button to you know as a short key but you can even click it over here and here we can go ahead and quickly change the layout of our text of our button as well so now that we have our button ready and we've already you know used the auto layout method to make sure that our layout is perfect now what we need to do is we need to create a component now to create a component we just click on this button right here on action right and it's going to pop up over here here you will have all of the options that you would need here you have create components but you have to make sure that you select this frame button right here make sure you select it and then click on it and then just simply search for create component and you will have the option right here beforehand they used to have this bar at the top and you could easily find it but now you gotta search for it so now what you want to do is click on create component and you will see on the left hand side it is now created it is now you know the component has now been created and there we go as you can see right here once you've created a component you will find that it has this symbol over here on the left on it which will indicate that it is now a component right so now uh, what you want to do 
actually created another one. So I'm going to delete that. So as you can see right here, it says right here, components. Now what you want to do is you want to create a variant of it. So, all right, next you want to add a variant. Now to add a variant, you just select the button, right? You select the frame and over here on the right hand side, you will see you have frame one here. You will have the add variant icon, which is right here, this model icon. So we're going to add two variants right here. So now we have that. Let's go ahead and add, create a new variant as well. So we'll click on the button and click on add variant. There we go. So now we have three variants. So the first button is going to be the default button. The next one is going to be the hover. And the final one is going to be after you click it or whatever. So this is it. So again, let me just show you how you can add variants. Make sure to select the button. All right. I'm going to undo this. All right. So here you select the button. Here you have the add variant button right here on the right hand side. Click it have two variants then what you want to do is click on the first button or actually just select the entire thing click on the three dots and then just add another variant there you go so since this is the default one right we'll leave it over here on the right hand side we can see the property we'll leave it default over here and this is going to be the hover one and so we'll change its name from variant two to hover and since variant number three is going to be on click so we're just going to type it on click like that so now i'm just simply going to go ahead and zoom in so that it's a little bit easier to see because now we're going to do some other stuff to it so over here we have our three buttons right now let's go ahead and add the hover animation so to do that we need to go ahead and add interactions between these three buttons right so first we need to differentiate them so since this is the default one we'll leave it at that and this is the hover button so we'll also change the fill of this button to something else maybe let's say we add another fill so this one could be something else entirely so that you know we can see maybe like a darker color i think that looks good but overall like that you know a little bit darker color so i'll go with the cyan and over here i'll make it darker like that right and this one since this is you know on click will make it a little bit gray or something like this one so that we can see that this is what is happening right so now that we've differentiated them let's go ahead and connect them so select the options right here select the first button and come over here onto the right hand side and instead of design go to prototype so in prototype we can go ahead and set our interactions so when you click on prototype you will see that you have this small little blue button that pops up so this will allow us to connect these three buttons so we're just simply going to go ahead and click on the plus button at the bottom and then just drag it over here. And now we can see that it is now connected and this pops up. This is the interaction button. I'm going to move it right here so that we can see it. So here is the trigger. So instead of on click, we'll just change it to hover or while hovering like so and change the action to property one hover which is good and then we have the animation at the bottom which is instant dissolve or smart animation smart animation you know it will allow figma to determine whichever action it thinks is best for you if you've added a lot of elements to it but for now i think we'll go with dissolve and this is the animation right here so you can see the animation as soon as i hover my mouse over it the color changes and you know like so there you go so this looks good so we can also change the easy out easy in animation effects as well but that's depending on you but now that that's done all that's left for us to do is to change the next part so from of the button stands to hover we now want to go ahead and click right so now we'll select the second button and we'll connect it with the third button and here because if we select on click the color of the button will change but you know even if we don't click it again it will stay the exact same color it will not change back over here over here so what we need to do is while pressing so we'll select this one so now while we press the button then the color would change and for the animation i think this one instant would much better because you know we instantly want the colors to change as soon as we click the button so yeah that looks good so now we'll change that and i think as you can see right here while hovering while being pressed so the animation is now set now all that's left for us to do is to preview it so we can go ahead and create a new frame over here so to add a new frame we'll just click on the frame section right here right over here we'll click on the frame button and on the right hand side we have our options so go ahead and click on the macbook here so here we go so this is the 
frame that we selected we'll move it over here a little bit farther from the button right now you can see right here in the asset section we have the button right here so we'll move the buttons within the frame right and this can be you can go ahead and change the buttons right now you might think that why it does not change the color as of yet but because that's because we haven't you know run the prototype yet so we'll run it in a second you can add the button over here and you can also change you know name of this button right here and whatever you want to do so once we've added the button let's go ahead and run the prototype or run the animation or preview it we'll click on that preview button and it should come over here it's loading up give it a couple of seconds so now as you can see as i hover up over onto these buttons they work so now we have the hover animation while we're hovering on the button and this is the click animation so you can see that it is working and that is how you do it that is how you create a hover animation or a button animation in figma so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye